Okay, let's do a tiny tutorial on how to make any AI animal to be commanded by the player. In this case, I have a scene prepared with Steve as the main player. I have the wolf light AI on the scene and I have the seat zone in this, in this project. I also I have baked the nav mesh for the plane. Um, let's see what we can do. We need to make some commands so the player can make the wolf go to a patrol a patrolling state. Another command should be following the player or commanding the wolf to sit on the seat zone. So first Steve let's prepare some settings. First let's add the AI, AI target so the wolf when is following Steve know when to stop, when is the radius to stop moving. And let's also tag Steve as the player instead of using the main animal player boolean value also i have made some commands inputs so when we press the one key the we will follow the player if i press two it will go to the patrol state and if i press three it will go to the seed zone and play the animation. Now, how can we do this? We need to store these commands in an integer variable. So we want we are going to create an integer scriptable variable. Call it command and let's debug it to see how can we know what it's doing and if we press the one key key one we're going to change the value of this integer to one if we press two we change the value to two and if we press three we change the value to three now if I hit play I press one, two, or three, you will see that the values are changing. You can see it here also in the inspector. Now, if I exit play mode, since this is a scriptable asset, the value will remain with the last value I press. So let's do a quick reset of this entire variable let's go reset and add the reset scriptable variable let's add this command and we, we, we are going to reset it to zero when we hit play and when we exit play mode if i hit play you will see the value will set to zero and if i hit and, in, and if i exit play mode the value will stay in zero okay so far so good now this value will be used on the AI states of the wolf so let's make an AI state let's create a new AI state and let's call this patrol let's add a task let's use the default patrol and on the wolf AI game object, let's use this patrol state. And on the target of the AI control, let's add the first waypoint. Now, if we play, the wolf should be patrolling. 
okay so far so good now let's do some decisions let's create the first decision we need to check if the command is one which means I press the follow player command so let's create a new let's do it here let's create a new check scriptable variable and let's check the follow command let's set it as check follow command now we are going to check for integer, an integer variable which will be comma and it are, we are going to check if the value is 1 now if the value is 1 we need to find the player and follow the player so let's create a new decision create a new decision would be look for the player look for the player now instead of having a view angle of 120 let's do a 360 search and instead for looking for the animal player let's go on to look for the tag player okay now we need to first check if we are in the follow command which the value in this value will be one and then we are we are going to look for the player we are going to assign it as the target and we're going to move to the target so how can we do this we can create a an and decision to pack these two decisions together so check follow command and find player okay and now on the patrol state we're going to use this one instead and we are going to first check for the follow command and then look for the player and if this decision is true then we are going to going to play a new state which will be follow player and as the task we are going to move to the target and that's it let's test this to see how it's going now the wolf is patrolling and if i hit the one key it will search for the player and he is following me and he also is looking at me since the follow player task has look at target okay so far so good first command is done now let's do the opposite if we are following the player and i press 2 then he should go to the patrol state now let's duplicate this one and we're going to check for the patrol command and we're going to find the nearest waypoint now let's duplicate this one too and we're going to check for the patrol command which will be the value 2 and instead of looking for the player we are going to look look for the closest waypoint let's look for the closest waypoint we're going to assign the new target that we found and we are going to move to the target now on the patrol state we are checking on the follow 
player we're going to check for the patrol command and if we if this decision is true then we are going to the patrol state again on the patrol state we are going to check for the patrol command and we're going to look for the closest waypoint let's hope you understand this and let's test it out if I hit 1 it will follow the player and if I hit 2 it will go to the patrol state if I hit 1 again it will follow the player if I hit 2 it will go to the nearest waypoint great let's do the final one let's duplicate this decision and change it for the seed command and the seed command is 3 and instead of looking for the player or the closest waypoint we're going to look for the seed zone and look for a zone with ID 4 which is the action zones and the ability is 8 since 8 is the ID for seat let's check here ID 6 ID seat is 8 and the action ID is 4 so we are looking for zone 4 with the ability 8 ok so far so good now we need to do the same we are we need to pack these decisions into an and decision let's check for seed command and seed zone we're looking first for the command we're checking first the command the seed command and we are looking if we are pressing the seed command then we are looking for the zone now let's create the seed AI state <sighs> mm -hmm. As a task, we are moving to the target, and as the decision for this task, we are going to check two times for the other two commands. Check with the follow command, then we go to the follow player. If we check for the patrol command, we go to patrol state let's do the same for patrol let's add the the other decision if we check for the seed command we go to the seed state and for follow player we have the patrol and we check for the seed command and we this decision is true we do the seed AI state. Okay, that should be it. If we hit play, we press 2, we go to the patrol state. We press 1, we follow me. We press 3, we go to the seed. And it should seed. Until I press another command, follow me. Okay go sit okay go patrolling go sit no sorry go follow me and I think this is done go sit again that's it I think I have done it <laughs>